And welcome back to Super Metroid. I'm your host, Ultra Vector Jester with the Niskull. Da, 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 da. Well, I feel like an idiot for uh, doing all that infinite bomb jump stuff just a little bit ago. Because just down here is the high speed shoes. High speed shoes or high jump boots? High jump boots. Well, well yeah. High jump boots. There they're, we go. They're footwear that makes things go high. Which is your which is your jump this time. Which I guess I, you'd need to go at a high speed in order to jump high, I mean. It, oh! Break gravity, I suppose. I suppose that makes sense. That's probably why you were having a bit of trouble getting up to Kraid. That is still technically a sequence break you did. Oh, uh, well, I'll, I'll take it. But here are indeed the high jump boots. Okay. It makes you, get this, <gasps> jump high. No! I know. I know, man. Next, you're gonna tell me you can reach higher heights because you can jump higher. I think it's, yeah, I knew it. Wait, wait a minute, are you actually saying that? Can you reach higher heights? I think it might be. <gasps> it sounds too good to be true, I know. I know! This really puts the super in Super Metroid. <laughs> yeah, don't need, don't need, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if there are any Super Metroid commercials out there on YouTube. Sure, of course there are. Aw, oh, we have to kill the guy. Yeah, he's like in the wall there, kind of kind of calling out the Oh, yeah, you got him. I always love looking up all those old, ancient commercials. Actually, I used to videotape uh, Beast Wars before I went to school, and reliving some of those old commercials, oh my god. It's a trip. You ever go to RetroJunk.com? No, I've heard of it, though. It's basically the, the haven for all that kind of stuff. I gotta go there, just binge. There are... You can go on YouTube. There are like hour long commercials or, or hour long compilations of commercials from whatever era you want. Oh god, I love it. God, am I gonna end up grow like growing older and becoming one of those like nostalgified people? I think you already are. For the most part. I mean I do play Nintendo games, so maybe that has something to do with it. I like new things too. <laughs> I like new things. <laughs> They spared my approach sometimes. At least I don't think I'll ever gatekeep and say I liked this before it was cool. Can't pay me enough. I, I only that. say that ironically. Yes. Like oh, there, definitely. Like there's this uh, Japanese indie rock band I listen to called Link Toshite Shigure, and they're. I, I started listening to them about like 2011 or so when I discovered them, and you know they're they're pretty good. Might not be other people's cup of tea, but uh, you know. <laughs> you, know, you never know. Before they got big. Around 2013... Yeah. <laughs> they got a big... Like... They got an anime opening. Tokyo Ghoul. Yeah! And Psycho Pass. Yes! And since then, oh yeah, I've always liked them. And, and I say with maybe a little bit of bitterness, <laughs> but with, with uh, joking irony, <laughs> I liked them before they were cool. How dare you? <laughs> You're not allowed to enjoy this thing I enjoyed first! I'm not trying to be a gatekeeper. Like, if, if you like them now, you know, hey, you like them now, great. We like a band together now, ain't that great? Gatekeeping makes no sense. It doesn't. I never understood that. You're, oh, what's you're, going on? You're not allowed to play this Metroid because, you know, I saw it first. That, that, that makes literally no sense to me either. You're not allowed to like F-Zero, because I played them first. <laughs> You're not allowed to have difficulty settings, that's the one I always go to, never mind. Too much of a low-hanging fruit. It's too easy. Oh yeah, too easy. It needs to be harder. Unlike Dark Souls. <laughs> I just think difficulty modes need to depend on game. They need to realize the pros and cons that come from each. You don't have to do one or the other. Speaking of Dark Souls, I just recently retweeted something that blew my freaking mind. Dark Souls has literally been beaten on everything you can think of. Mm -hmm. This time, it was Morse code. Yeah, I heard about that. How on earth? First of all, how on earth do you get that idea? Second of all, how do you put it into practice? And third of all, how do you get good at it? Well, that's just engineering, dedication, and skill right there. Over 250 button presses. Sure. To be all the bosses in Dark Souls 3. Sure. 
AKA the hardest one. Hmm. At least that's what I've heard. I would say the full DLC of two is harder. Full DLC of two. Scholar of the first sinner or whatever. Because it's not as tightly designed. Oh. The mechanics are a bit more, you know. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it, it's the B team working on this while the A team is busy working on Bloodborne. <laughs> gotcha. Well, now we have Elden Ring to deal with here in the upcoming months. I wonder, I wonder if I'm going to like it as much. Because I think back to Sekiro and how bad I did at that, I wonder if this is going to be the same the same shtick. Well, we'll just have to play have it and I, find out. Have I become soft? No. You still like hard-as-nails games, and I don't. Yeah, I mean, you know, compared to Metroid Dread, I think we had different experiences. Oh, most definitely. I got my ass kicked, and you had a great time. I love getting my ass kicked, because it's like, No, I'm gonna kick your ass now! And then I figured out what the game wanted me to do, and it was all it, it was all bread and butter from there. I will say the satisfaction of uh, beating a really hard boss still gives me that serotonin hit. Figuring them <sighs> yes. out, and, you know, it's, it's all about learning. Well, I get to this impatient mode I found out about myself. When I want to beat a game, and I don't want to fight a boss, I get really frustrated that I just can't beat it the first go. My eyes just close over in my head whenever I lose interest with the game. <laughs> I don't care. It happened with Bravely Default. What, the glazing over? I literally fell asleep playing it. <laughs> no joke, I was playing it, and I was just... Auto mode and forget. I mean, yeah, that that happens when you're when you're tired and all that. And maybe I was tired that day, but I figure a video game, especially specifically a good RPG like this, to like keep me awake. The narrative's supposed to like keep me invested. Stop. Oh, here it is. Aha. Uh -huh. So I think I talked about this in the last episode, but there is a free missile tank, just in case you get here without missiles. So that's a bonus missile tank. They, I think thought, I, they thought of everything. I think I called it an E-tank last episode, that's my bad. It's a missile tank. And uh, the speed booster all of a sudden. Speed booster gets used a lot more than I thought it would. Oh yeah. And now escape. Uh, Go fast. Great introduction to the speed booster. Amazing introduction to the speed booster. This game also has shine sparking. It's not exactly egregious shine sparking, but this is how old the Metroid game is. Shine sparking hurts you. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Which also means there aren't many shine spark puzzles. Which, thank God. But there are a lot of shine spark time saves. Yeah. Yeah. So I honestly didn't think we'd be getting shine spark in episode two. Maybe that just shows how long it's been since I've actually played this. <laughs> Well, also the the route I'm going, it's not it's not typical. I wouldn't think. Is it typical? I, I really don't know if this is the right way or not. I'm just. Oh, I'm I seriously just... doubt it. It's it's been forever since I've seen. The... Hey, I, I'm just doing the job that I was paid to do, pal. All right. All right, just get me out of here. I'm mean, not confident on my platforming skills in this game yet, but. Oh, oh, uh, oh. Okay, there we go. Okay. This will... Oh no! Can I save it? I don't think I can. Nope. Yeah. We're out of here. Ah, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Back up, back around. Here we go. It has been a hot minute since I've actually seen legit Super Metroid played. So this is a fun experience. Yeah, same here. I've seen more speedruns than actual, like, playthroughs. Yep! Like, how do I know where everything is? It's because I played it myself. How do I know what the items are? Because of speedruns. This is a great way to, you know, learn the game by actually playing it. Mm -hmm. Nothing but hot takes here. <laughs> Wait, I gotta play a game to learn it? So I was like, that's, like, if I watch a movie, I can experience and understand it better. Wait, 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 hold on. Here's a little bit of some, uh, that's skipping a, you can do there. That's, that's easy. a sequence break, yep. That's, that's a pretty easy one, because I was gonna, I was, I was expecting to, like, wall jump, but I just... Nope, just jump. <laughs> Boing! Alright! Just jump, forehead. Alright, <gasps> wave beam! Yes, the wave beam. That makes things way better. Wave better. <laughs> do the wave. Woo! Do it again. I think we're more of a ripple than a wave. Well, I mean, there's only two of us in the room. Do you want me to get my cat in here to do the wave with us? Let's call the people in the apartment complex. Let's get the Spectrum guy again. 
<laughs> to the wave, you asshole! Uh, oh, no, please don't insult the Spectrum guy. I've already done that enough for all of us. I still can't believe I didn't get kicked out for that. I won't insult him, but... <laughs> but... I will if he deserves it. <laughs> Internet goes off as you're uploading this episode. <laughs> Dude, do, do, did your back, internet go out? Then I come back with like an antenna sticking out of my ear. Spectrum is the best thing ever. Spectrum, Spectrum. internet gives you the best quality service for Spectrum. the price. Spectrum. Hey, Niskel. Yeah? Have you heard about bundling home phone and internet? I have a feeling you're gonna talk about Spectrum. Spectrum internet. Also, who has a phone? I think they're pushing the mobile thing now more. Well, that's good. I think they've caught up with the rest of the world, from the looks of it. Ooh, I think... Oh, oh never mind. I'm thinking of a different place. There's one door that needs a super missile, and you can actually run really fast and shoot a super missile. You're, you're basically clipping. But that's how you unlock one of the doors later. Hmm. Ooh, fighting a mini-boss? Uh, yep. Got an energy recharge. And then we'll fight the best What's, mini what's boss. this name? Cro Crocomire or Crocomire. something? Crocomire! I don't know all, the, all their names. It's, it's like, are you one of the things I gotta kill? Uh, Alright, well, uh, bend over and die, please. <laughs> Regretfully. I don't want to kill you, Crocomire. You're just in the way. Nothing against you, Bug. Nothing against you, Sporky. It's just, uh, mm -hmm. that way things gotta be. Alright. He, he does the, he does a little shuffle. I'm not doing the most glorious of Krakenmeyer playthroughs, so again, speedrunners, I, I have nothing but respect for you, and I am confident that this, you will have no respect for me, but that's okay. So just like a lot of enemies, if you hit him with a super missile, it does double damage. With Krakenmeyer, it actually pushes him back twice. Yeah, like really far. It is to push him all the way back in that lava. Mm-hmm. Pretty gruesome, actually. Like, like, he's already a little melty right now. I'm meant to be on the surface! What am I doing in lava? I think there is a, a fun trick you can do. It involves the grapple beam. Right, let me get that out. Well, I know you, we don't have it, but I'm just saying uh, there's a fun uh, thing you can do to glitch his sprite if you use the grapple beam. Also, this is a good strategy right here. A little bit of a shuffle right here and just shoot him with a charge beam. He does that, that kind of interrupts things a bit. Yeah. They're gonna like, gain so much ground and lose it just as easily. Mm hmm. Oh. He's got a marvelous good. singing voice. Oh. Yeah. La, 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 la. yeah, I think the oh. grapple beam, if you actually grapple his tongue, his entire sprite disappears except for his tongue. Oh no. I think that's how that happens. Oh, okay. got him with a super. I'm trying to finish on a super so that way, you know, I got him back and I fucking missed. I can't believe I missed. Come Wait on. for it. Come on. Come on. Uh, just, just fu uh. Do you think this? No, he's do you losing all my ground. God damn it! Oh no! Fuck! Do you think this melty space alligator gives out Fs? To all of his students. I don't think he can see. I think his eyes have almost all but melted. Open your fucking mouth and get up the lava! <laughs> Calcified eyes. He can't see. The poor... The, maybe that his arm is his walking stick. He's, he's trying to feel out where to go next. <laughs> where? Simus? Is that you? It's me, Krokemeyer. What do you need? See why he wasn't one brought back a lot either. Every time he's yelling, he's screaming fairies. It's Crockermeyer. S so something similar it was like oh. embedded in some later Metroid games, but not, oh. not quite Crockermeyer himself. No. Was he? Was he in another one? No. I don't think he was. I don't think so because he's only shown up in one game, to my knowledge. I mean, you're the other M expert, friend. I'm sorry to say, you be the other M expert. I'm kind, of, I'm kind of wondering if that should be next. No, don't do that. We're sticking with the 2D Metroids here, that's the point. Yeah, that's the point. That's the ones you wanted to play. Yes. 
Uh, just a little more. Yeah. Just like, hey, there's like a cookie behind hey. you. Turn around, turn around and find it. Cookie? No. Oh. All right, that should do it. Ooh, oh. It's right there, there. on the platform. Go. Get back and there. gone. Fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck you. Stay there and Utterly die. terrifying. Yeah. He just melts and it's disgusting. You just pushed a blind person into acid. Yeah, he's fine. Also, you can see his bubbles down below. Okay, so... Oh, he's floating there. Let's see if I can do this right. Oh, oh. ow. I see what you're doing. Hang on. Let's I see what you're doing. Do it. Okay, so. right. Don't know right. if it's... Ah. Well, well. hang on, hang on. I've got to do this right. Don't know if it's just... for the best, but we'll see. Here we go. And... No. Well, no. Almost, almost. <laughs> I, I got this, man. Just hang on. Uh-huh. I know. Just gotta pick up speed. You know what I'm trying to do, right? Uh, yeah. You gotta know what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get the item all the way to the right. Ah! Fuck! No! Ow! 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 A lot of hurt. That's that is way too much hurt. Rewind. That is that is exceeding hurt. That's why they want you to come back. Well, we're not doing that. We're here. We're here now. We're gonna do it. Let's go. <laughs> I would laugh if you did the old LP curse where back when load state safe state were gospel <laughs> and people would safe state themselves in a point of no return. Oh. I was just waiting for it. No, oh, those days are behind me or, oh. or in front of me or either or. They're right here, baby. No! Not again! Uh. Rewind! Oh, wait. Maybe I can save it. Maybe I can save it. Maybe I can save it. Hang on, wall hang on. Jump. I just gotta... Oh, hang you're hang almost on. wall jumped. And I don't do it. I just do... Nope. Oh. I haven't figured it out yet all the way. That's a lot of hurdy ow. That's very much hurdy ow. Uh, yeah, let's do it here. Sounds good. We're gonna get this. We have to. Uh, you're, you're making my boy Krokemeyer stay there in the acid longer than he has to. He's fine. Well, no, he's dead. He will be fine. Trust me. <laughs> I mean, when your skin's melted off... There we go. It's it's all fine. See? All fine. So now you gotta make it back. Now there's three of me. Let's yeah, but I have an extra E-tank to do it with. You so do. So all I gotta do is just... Oh! Oh! Ah! 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 Okay, we're good. Now we're good. And... Uh oh oh <laughs> You actually <laughs> ran it! <laughs> well, I got an extra E-tank. It doesn't matter. Oh, that's true. I'm you, now you're just bragging to Krokemeyer, who's dead. Oh god, where's he coming from? Oh no! Oh no! And speaking of which, oh there he is. See, I told you he was fine. Ugh. Hey, just 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 take a rest there, buddy. It's okay. Yeah, you're fine. Absolutely okay. freaky. When I found out that his breathing bubbles were happening underneath the stage, he was actually swimming over to this area just to bust through the wall. I remember seeing this again later in life, and I'm like, wow, jeez. You do a little bit of a sequence break here if you do it just right. Just kind of wait for. Oh, yeah, I know what you're doing. Do a, jump do a and run. Jump. Wait for it to duck a little bit. Ooh, and you should yeah. be right there, just fine. No problem. That's a good one. Now I think if this is what I think it, it is, is a power bomb. Oh my god, that's early. Yeah. Well, cool. How's that for a sequence break? Oh, I'm sorry. You haven't found the ability to use power bombs yet. I guess you can't use this. That'll sorry about your luck. No, that'll break the game too much. Jesus Christ, I hate that. I think the only reason I'm sour about that happening in Dread is because I found those early and I was like, oh, sweet, power it's, bombs early. It's because you weren't rewarded. I know. You're like a puppy expecting treats because you found a sequence break. Well, I mean, other people got rewards for finding sequence breaks, and all I got was a big wagging finger. That's other people, not you. <sighs> Metroid Dread, this is a personal attack on it's me! It's supposed to fit with Dread, man! Do you feel Dread? Well, not anymore, because I beat it. Well, good! Now it's Metroid Glee! <laughs> Oh, I can't wait for Samus to start belting out really bad covers of songs. I, I was hoping you weren't gonna go there. Yeah, you bring up Glee. I have all the opportunities in the world to make fun of that terrible show. Do you ever watch it? No. My my, my uh my dad's stepmom watched it. They followed <laughs> Glee. There was only one thing good about Glee. They're Gleeks. Jane Lynch. Uh, She's the only good thing. Everything else is garbage. It's like, hey, let's transpose these pop songs so that way these terrible actors can actually sing them. It's not actually real singing like, you know, an artist would do. It's just, like, pop singing because that's what they're expected to do. 
Uh, yeah, 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 it'll work out. I don't know. I don't think I have to watch any because the ads did all the damage for me. Just watching them try and hit some of these notes is just not a good time. Ooh, I know what you're doing now. All right, thing we got to do here. We got our speed booster. Okay, first up, and speed then to that, and then uh, down here, up there, right there. Now that's interesting, because you could go in a diagonal. And I think that's where we have actually have to go next. I thought this was easier. Well, to get the missile, yes. So we got the missile, but uh, we'll uh, take another running hit. Take, take a hit of that speed booster, man. Let's go! I love Jump speed! In Made it. Boom. Perfect. And here is what I think it is. The grapple beam. Uh. Or, excuse me, the grappling beam. Once, once again, the grapple beam does not grant me any joy. One of the most useless weapons, if you know how to wall jump and shine spark. Zoop. Uh, and zoop. Uh, ah! Yes, everyone's beginner with the grapple beam. It's all come to light. A great equalizer. Yes. It's it's just that like the physics aren't quite there, so it's like bad Super Castlevania Four physics. Mm, don't remind me of Super Castlevania 4. But you know what I mean, right? It, like, it, like, it has the whip kind of feature. Oh, yeah. No, I understand where you're going for. What's great about this grapple beam, at least compared to Samus Returns, is this thing actually kills things. I wouldn't know that. You haven't tried shooting anything? Well, because I, I'm, I love the idea that it won't kill them. Yeah, this actually counts as a beam. It's hilarious. Because how sucky do you have to be of a monster to die to a grapple beam? It's like you're giving them a hug and they die. I think you're, like, jamming a laser hook into their skin. Mmm, yummy. Woo! There. See, you got it. Just takes some getting used to, and they're, they're gonna test me on it later, that's for goddamn sure. Who says you can't teach this UDJ guy new tricks? Well, I'm learning a new game here. I've, I've played all the other games, uh, at least quite a few times. This one I haven't played through to completion. Oh, I love it. Wait, you've never beaten Super Metroid? Nah. Because I, I always get lost. I always get so hopelessly, hopelessly lost. Oh, we are going to have some fun with this one. Don't count me out yet, though. I'm doing all right. I can make it on my own. I can't believe I'm finding such childish superiority over a game that came out in 94. Well, I bet you were a great kid to hang out with in sixth grade. I'm a gatekeeper. <laughs> it's like, you, 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 you didn't reach level three on Super Mario World? Whoa, what kind oh, of no, loser I, are you? I was a fun kid. I wanted to be everyone's friend, and the video games ruined my life. Because you had an opinion, and then nobody likes opinions on video games that aren't their own, and so you were ostracized. Actually, no, I just really liked playing multiplayer games, and, you know, video games made me lazy. Mm. Sad but true, it happens. But now that I play video games as a side hobby on YouTube, I've actually gotten, you know, more used to a keeping a tight schedule. And it's also made me play more games. Like Super Metroid. So I play games like someone reads a book or watches movies or admires fine art. That's all this is, just an interactive medium for art. Wow, you sound boring. No, I sound cultured. <laughs> I was just thinking, you're watching the Super Metroid gameplay th uh, with your glasses tilted down a bit and while drinking a glass of wine. Oh, I'm going the wrong way, shit. What? You can shine spark through that. I'm going the wrong way. Where are you going? I'm going the wrong way. I'm you not, can shine spark not, through that. I'm not supposed to go this way. What are you talking about? I went, I went the wrong way. I, 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 I read it wrong, I'm going the wrong way, I'm sorry. But it's fine, it's Super Metroid. I went the wrong way. What are you talking about, I, I, dude? I didn't go the way I wanted to go, so I'm going a different way. Oh, okay. Wait, you're... you're doubling back. Go, uh, 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 yeah, I just, I, just, I just went the wrong way, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Don't worry about it, it's fine. Yeah. 
matter. Up here, yeah. It's <laughs> I'm fine. It's fine. Samus, do you want me to pull over and ask for directions? I'm fine! I get what you're doing, yeah. What do you think I'm doing? Doubling back and collecting things you may have missed, because you don't want to come back to this area. It's one thing I like about the grapple beam. <laughs> ah! Uh, hubris! You, you were saying? Uh, at least there's a nice stairway back. I don't have to go, like, mm -hmm. through eight rooms to get back and try it again. So how many different Super Metroid speedruns have you watched? Uh, I've watched a few. Mostly have been Tasses. Yeah, I've seen uh, some of the races on uh, GDQ from several years. Mm -hmm. I've seen several iterations of Tass. My, my favorite one is where they have the input in the lower right. And he has like little designs and messages and, and all that. It's ah. it's really cool. My personal favorite, and this is just from a skill standpoint, like you really have to know this game. In a 100% map run, oh, that's speed interesting. run, yeah, you have to hit every map square. Every single map square has to be pink, and if it isn't, you fail the speed run. Hmm. So. You see Samus doing some weird flips just to fill in those map squares, and then you're out of there. But you also have to know where all the items are so you can go in, beat the bosses, and continue. It's very interesting. Oats and Goats is a monster. <laughs> well, he uh, pulled off uh, Super Metroid Impossible, which is like a 2006 hard, bad ROM hack. Yeah, and that, in itself, was damn near impossible. It's it's designed to be mean as hell without any any care towards game design. It's just oh hey I made this into where you die. It's cool. And eat a dick. Judge. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Oh hey you're gonna fight Ridley without the gravity suit. I hope you do not mind. Without the Varia suit. Oh yeah, without the Varia suit. So you're gonna be constantly taking damage in lower Norfair. Eat a dick. Ooh, I know what we're getting. You're getting the ice beam. Come here, beautiful. Yeah. yeah. So I think Super Metroid is also the one that introduced different abilities based on what beams you have equipped. Yeah, I don't switch out the beams because I'm like a... All right, this is the beam I have now. That's how it is. Hey, that's fine. Ice beam's great. At first I was thinking, like, I should disable the ice beam, but I'm thinking, if an enemy is frozen, it's not attacking me. Correct. If it's not attacking me, I'm safe. I don't get hurt. If I don't hurt, I get to live. And if I live, then I win. If I live, then I don't die. And I like to win, and I like to live, and I like to also not die. <laughs> These are ex-parasites! You live and let die. <laughs> burn and oh, come burn. on. A little pixel. Live and let ah, die. Oh. Oh. All right, I'll take it. Well, it just had to give you a little, like, hey, good game right into the corridor there. A little athletic butt slide. Just. <laughs> <laughs> no towel. Just all gummy hand. No, no, whatever all, the hell that thing all, was. All towels, like Super Sonic. Like. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! Yeah. Who's the unfortunate dickhead who actually towel snapped Samus in the locker room? Who would dare? <laughs> and how quickly did they die? I don't know. I mean... <laughs> he uses that crap grapple beam to towel whip somebody. <laughs> <gasps> oh! Oh, Jesus! Is it bleeding? Yes. Yes, it is. We're gonna have to replace your ass. Time for a Super Metroid exclusive item. Well, uh, first off, this was, of course, introduced in Super Metroid. Oh, this is great! Didn't even consider doing this back in the day. That's how I got stumped. It's the equivalent of going into the moon in Kirby's Dream Land. Yes! Showed up in Zero Mission, showed up in, I believe, Samus Returns, and I think... Dread. It's just to show off how powerful the power bombs actually are. And fusion, that you do it once in all the 2D Metroids. Not yeah. counting Prime, because they... Require you to do that. I guess they really like this. It's cool! It is cool. It's oh hey, there's this little tube, but do you notice that you can go down? It's like, oh dude, I can go down. That's awesome. I'm checking that out a little later. Yeah, let's not go to Meridia yet.
Uh, it, is, it is a terrible place. Uh, we, uh, we're not quite ready for that yet. Well, you don't want to go swimming in water for, like, ever? We might need the gravity suit for that. Nah, come on. Yeah, we're in. Nah, yeah, come yeah, on. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you got like three checks in Meridia that you can do now. You might be able to find the bombs. You can sequence the game to make it as easy or as hard as you want, and this is about as easy as I want it. I am ashamed to admit that I went through Meridia without the gravity suit. <laughs> Took forever. I bet it seemed impossible for you. No, a little bit, yeah. I mean, just imagine slowness forever. I'm gonna bring up Metroid Prime 2 for a second and their, uh, quote-unquote, Meridia level. In the second, uh, place that you're sent to, in the Torgus Bog, mm -hmm. there's something called a Hydro Dynamo. It's basically just a big water facility where they just churn water all the time. <laughs> and, uh... When you first get there, you don't really have, uh, the suit nor the visor to help you out, really. So everything is just a awful, murky brown. Mm. It is very difficult to see. Oh, yep, careful. Oh, those guys are the night lights. Well, I have eyes, I can see. But I will try- Well, not for long. I will try and keep him alive. I do know what this is. These are spikes. Yes, they are. I will, uh... Switch to the... Let's do the, 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 the uh, dapple uh, grapple. Don't. There we go. There we go. Uh, uh, there we go. Uh, uh, Over the uh, spikes. Uh, uh, Over the spikes. Oh, please, no. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, well, boy, uh, uh, better make sure I don't lose my grip at the very last block. There's something over here that I want to get here. No! How? Why? Why is the question I want to know? That's supposed to... No, 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 no. No, no. Wait, you didn't want to try to salvage that? I am salvaging it! Look at me salvage this! <laughs> salvage! Ah! Ah, salvage, ah, yeah! Ah, salvage this thing. Ow. Oh, there we go. Ah. Ow. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Salvage this thing. Salvaging! Salvage this thing. Oh, yeah. Salvage, salvage. Salvage this thing. Oh, yeah. Time to salvage. God damn. And all of this for a pointless item. It's just for 100% sake, really. Yep, for 100% sake, and, you know, just to show that it's here. Uh, oh, 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 there we go. All right, yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, X-ray scope. Oh, the X-ray scope. It's basically reveal hidden blocks. I mean, that's cool. Back when there was no internet, this was perfect. I prefer the, uh, the phase, the, 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 the pulse shift. But hey, hold B, and there we go. It shows you where all the hidden stuff is. Yeah. But it's, like, really awkward because you can't see what's directly below you, and she's like, snaps over and just... Yeah. It's weird. I don't like that the, the portal is up here. The, the, the entryway is up here. So you gotta, like, bomb jump your way over Well, then you go on a long system. journey, and you get to find out where you are, and... Make that go up, and there we go. This is one of those you think you found a new a new pathway, and you think that you're clever, and you entered this this room, and you're like, all right, I found the X-ray scope. Dan, Dan, go, gotta go here, gotta salvage this room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, keep, uh, going, keep going, keep going, go, 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 go! Uh, ah! Can you imagine the ab strength she has to do all this? I'm thinking the beam does most of the work. <laughs> well, all right. So it might be like bicep strength, really. Hey, Samus, can you show me your guns? <laughs> oh, oh. oh, my head cannon says she's like ripped to the core. Well, I, th I think there's actually official art that shows her being ripped as hell. Uh, another M. She's, <laughs> she's small and petite and vulnerable. <laughs> but it's okay, it makes her a good character somehow. There is always something to compare to other M. The defense for other M lately has been baffling me to no end. I refuse to accept that this game has been forgiven for all of its transgressions. I refuse. I, I'm not accepting that. It's probably people who can't get past Emmys. T yeah, so they just have to get on one card for Going something. back to an easier Metroid game. Other M. Well, that's, it's not even a Metroid game. <laughs> what are you talking about? It has Metroid in the title. Ow, ow, <sighs> ow, ow. Those are actually called Samus Eaters. Ow. They are? Ow, ow, ow. Yes, they are. You're, you're serious? Yes. I believe their official name is Samus Eater, and speaking of which, they're doing their job very, very well. Post text, I don't believe them. <laughs> believe me. I don't know. It's it sounds like something believable. 
Well, I mean, the, the little ring things that Mother Brain shoots to you has a name. Everything has an official name. Ow, 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 ow. get me out of here. You can't even, like, get out of the way. It's just like you're stuck there. You can't jump, you can't, like, it's, it's just, no, you gotta stay here and take some damage for a second. Well, because gotta... you fucking got in there to get off. You gotta chew a little bit. She has a hard metal suit. You gotta chew her a little bit. Get her a little tender. Oh, super, yes. This put the super in Super Metroid. A couple more things to get it before we sign off. Oh, gross. These little caterpillar things. There we go. Let them die. Ooh, I see a square. Yep. Oh, yeah. This is a mean trick. Especially if you're a very careful player. So here's this. This is your first place where you're supposed to get power bombs, I believe. Yep, got power bomb there. Easy. But then there's also an item down below, I think. Oh wait, no, that's something else. Here's the items. Behind the Chozo statue is a missile upgrade. I like that. And we're not done yet. They're just thinking, oh yeah, you want to use this item? I know you want to use this item. Yeah, this game, I think more than any others, have another item hiding behind upgrades. Just to show it off. Just, just to fuck with the player. Mm -hmm. You'll be sitting there wondering why you're at 99% and be like, what, what, what am I missing? What I thought I, I got do? it all. What did I do? And that's also why the power bomb door locks behind you. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. You need the power bomb to access the power bomb, but here you can get it whenever you want. So then it became a rule. Okay, you need the power bomb to get the power bomb upgrades. Well, you know we're missing something. Get I the mean, power bomb, and we need them. I mean, if we want the power, we should have played in playing this game with Nintendo power. Well, they didn't authorize it. D um. <laughs> it's written by Adam. <laughs> uh -huh. Hey, there we go. So this is what I was actually thinking of. Every single, Yoke. every single one of those plants has a monster in it, except for this one, which is your indicator. I think if you actually check the bridge too with the X-ray scope, you'll see that that thing is actually fake. Probably. There, there's, there's tells. Ow. Damn it! Oh! Ah! Ow! 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 Hurdy! Ow! Now ow, I'm just ow. mad. <laughs> oh, I'm just mad now. Fuck. There we go. I'm, I'm almost dead, and we're about to do a pretty difficult part next time, too. Well, I guess it's time to get good at this old game, Scrub! I guess it's time to uh, do a little grinding and get some energy back. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. So, I'm assuming next time on Super Metroid? Yes, next time on Super Metroid, we're dealing with the wrecked ship! Ooh, good yeah. luck with that! Yeah, that'll be fun! See you next time. I'm gonna get some more energy. Just excuse me for a minute. Excuse, excuse me, guys. Can I steal your energy? Don't, don't, don't be okay. Yeah, no, oh, thank right. you. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, see you later. Bye. <laughs>